Hi all. So if you remember a couple of weeks ago, um, I did a, a video on Romans 13 and to be able to make sure that we actually had a proper and clear biblical understanding and explanation for what is being said specifically in that text. And I had actually mentioned in that that I was going to come back and I was going to give another video uh, talking about something called the plan. And I know this is going to ruffle a lot of feathers and that's okay because sometimes the truth is hard to hear. But I'm saying it in love and I want you to be able to hear what I'm saying because it will change your perspective on many, many things. And sadly, we live in a world where the devil is not hiding. And I'll also be very straightforward and direct with you. Anybody who tells you there is no such thing as demons or there is no such thing as the devil, <laughs> that's a demon speaking to you, trying to cover their tracks, okay? So what I'm going to say is going to be... Um, little shaky. It will offend some and I don't care. It's better that you hear the truth and that you have a chance to repent, to change your ways, to change your life and to be saved. I would rather offend you than to remain silent and to be guilty of having blood on my hands. So um, this particular uh, session I've partnered again with Jubilee Resources. If it's not a ministry that you currently follow, I would encourage you to do so. And the information that I'm going to use uh, in our brief conversation today will be directly from their website and will be able to be a free download uh, from their website. And I'll leave the link below. So um, very simply, quick topic that I want you to be able to see. It says, have you been uh, sorry, have you and your family been hoodwinked by the plan? And if you remember back quite a few weeks ago, when I talked about the occultic roots of Freemasonry, remember the hoodwink is actually um, a Masonic term uh, where you're actually blinded and where you are actually prevented from seeing what the truth is. And unfortunately, we live in a society where in many respects, each and every one of us are being hoodwinked to an extent. Most of it is being done by the media. And one of the things that I want you to realize, see the enemy, the devil, is very patient. And many of the plans that you see coming to fruition right now, many of the agendas, many of the different things that are coming up in the media and in everyday life, they didn't get put into place by a meeting that was held yesterday. They've been in the process for a very long time. And as this particular document, and I'm gonna encourage you download it, read through it. It's about 19 pages, take you about maybe 15 minutes to go through. It will be very eye-opening. It will provide you a tremendous amount of resources in order to be able to have informed and very clear discussions with people so that you can actually be able to weed through all of the spirit of fence, read through all of the demonic, actually see the plans and agendas of the enemy, and to be able to expose them for what they are, demonic agendas designed to control you. So there are 10 key points in the plan. This all started very close to uh, the time of the First World War. So you see that all of this has been starting to be orchestrated and to be put into place over the last hundred some odd years. As I go through this, just these key 10 points, I'm not gonna go through and explain them in detail. I want you to take the time to read the document, okay? It's gonna go far more in detail than I will here. I'm simply be aiming to present you information to help you and encourage you to go and research. So, one of the first objectives of this plan that was put in place a little over 100 years ago. Number one, take God and prayer out of the education system. And I know I live in Canada and in the United States, this is something that actually happened in the 60s. And consequently, it had a huge effect on the nation of, uh, of America. And consequently, it had an, uh, a repercussive effects on the nation of Canada where I live and multiple other nations throughout the world. But that was their 
their key directive and plan number one that they put into place almost 50 years before it occurred. That was their first objective that they wanted to have. Number two, reduce parental authority over the children. So now you're starting to see more and more where the state can simply take kids out from being with their parents simply if uh, they deem, oh, you're not gonna allow your kid to have a gender transition, we're taking your kids away. No, that's wrong. Okay, and that's been their plan for over a hundred years. Number three, destruction of the Judeo-Christian family. In other words, the traditional Christian family structure for the Western world. God created it to be a husband with a wife, a man with a woman only, and for them to have children and be able to procreate. That is the only bar none, no exceptions whatsoever, acceptable family unit, okay? There is no two fathers, there's no two mothers, that's garbage. That, that garbage mentality is part of the plan to destroy the family unit, okay? Number five, four, if sex is free, then make abortion legal and make it easy. Hmm, and right now we know that like, we just passed the threshold of what would have been 50 years of Roe versus Wade. And I give glory to God that abortion has finally had its head cut off and it is stopping. Now here in Canada, unfortunately, we're far more secular in that respect than the United States. But the ball already got rolling in the US and I pray that that same limitation and absolutely abolition of all abortions would come to pass here in Canada as well. Number five, make divorce easy and legal. Free people from the concept of marriage for life. You see how they're trying to destroy every single thing that God has actually put in place in the Bible. Sanctity of life, no, let's kill them through abortion, okay? You have a uh, divorce. God hates divorce. God doesn't want to see divorce in any way. Okay, so consequently, this plan that was put into place is designed to destroy all of this. Number six, make homosexuality an alternative lifestyle. We are bombarded with that disgusting act on a regular, ba on a regular basis by the Alphabet Soup group. And quite frankly, it's disgusting. Okay, it is not normal for a man to burn with passion after another man. That is not normal. It is the same thing. It's not normal for a woman to burn with passion after another woman. There are deep hurts in both of those people that need to be addressed. Okay, number seven, debase art and make it run mad. If you haven't looked at anything from Hollywood and stuff like that, Please don't, because it's absolutely putrid and disgusting what's coming out of the music industry and Hollywood in general. It is 1 billion percent demonic. You need to turn it off, okay? But this was part of the plan all along. Number eight, use media to promote and change mindsets. Well, we didn't really have media, like visual media, until into the 50s. And from that point, it's actually progressed very quickly to things that were, oh, this is good and this is wholesome to, oh my gosh, what the heck did I just watch, okay? So you need to understand that this is not a good thing. Number nine, part of this plan was to create an interfaith movement. That's that whole garbage and BS with coexist. No, we can't coexist because you cannot have Christianity with the devil people of the world. It does not work. Every other religion is a religion that is based on the demonic, pure and simple, okay? Even when you get into certain factions of what people will refer to as Christianity, Mormons get grouped in with Christians. They're not Christian, okay? Catholics get grouped in with Christian. For most part, they're not Christian, okay? So you need to take stock of stuff. The interfaith movement is designed to squash 
the true gospel and to design to squash the church. Lastly, number 10, get governments to make all these points legal and get the church to endorse these changes. So one of the things that many people may not realize, like I said in, Romans, in my talk on Romans 13, it is not the government above all. The church is above all. But if we get out of balance and the government starts directing to the church what you can and can't do, now we're out of order in the way God designed everything to be. And that's a very, very big issue. Because like I mentioned before, legality does not equal morality. During the time of Hitler, it was illegal to hide a Jew. You had to turn them in. Legality does not equal morality. It was legal to, to have abortions. Well, that's not moral. You are killing a child, okay? And I know I'm that direct, and I know I might be offending some, but it's okay. You need to hear the truth. And I want to encourage you. Download this document. Take the time to read it. It is very eye-opening. And it might ruffle your feathers. And it might make you uncomfortable. But it's okay. Because when we start to identify the root, then we can deal with it. And when we deal with the root, that's when we have healing. And when we have healing, that's when we're able to flourish. And I want you all to flourish. But more than anything, I want you to come to salvation in Jesus. And I want you to take the time, as you see things, to understand that the Bible, which has told us about all of these things, is 100% truth. God loves you, God chose you, and God cares for you. And God has his arms open wide. So if you need to repent, which all of us do, just ask God. And I'll leave a prayer below that you can pray so that you can give your life to him and your life will have an immediate 180 from this day forward. And you will know that you will have your eternity secured with peace and in his presence. So, yes, this is a, a touchy topic for most part. But I want you to understand that what we are seeing in our society right now, one, is designed to destroy the truth of the Bible. And most importantly, it's designed to destroy you so that some wicked people can control you. And we say no. So have yourself a wonderful day. Please take the time to click on the link and download it. 19 pages, it's worth the read. Have yourself a wonderful day. Love you.